All right, guys, let's get into it. So the Saints lost yet another primetime game. They lose yet another game that they should win. It's brutal. Mm, I, I just don't know what to say. I don't have the words. We're about to get into a phenomenal rant. It's going to get ugly, and it's about to get really bad. But before we get into that, guys, I mean, we're going to break down the scoreboard. Type FML, man. Type FML because this season, this team is screwed. I, I, it just sucks, man. It sucks. This season is a failure. This team is not living up to expectations. And as a lifelong Saints fan, it sucks. Type FML for me. Spam it in the chat because I'm, I'm livid. I'm frustrated. I, I'm so over today. I'm over this loss. I'm over this team playing like this. I just, I can't. I, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I mean, guys, when Andy Dalton is 19 for 20, it, like this is the Andy Dalton effect. This is the Andy Dalton effect to a T. Throws for a couple hundred yards, not terrible. I mean, again, let's bear in mind he's a QB too. He's not anything that you should expect to put up. Josh, I'm not, and I'm not saying you should expect this even close, but he's not going to put up Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow type numbers. He's going to put up kind of average, extremely average numbers. 19 for 29, 210, a touchdown and an interception. Alvin Kamara just couldn't get it going, man. He could not get it going. He finished the day with nine carries for 30 yards. And then in terms of receiving three receptions for 32 yards on four targets. So, I mean, he got the 72 yards total offense, but no touchdowns. You're, you're the RB1. You really want to see Alvin Kamara score. Chris Olave, yet another pretty solid day from him. Six receptions on nine targets, 71 yards, a long of 16 yards. Chris Olave just proving to be that guy that we all expected him to be. Lamar Jackson, I mean, <laughs> Lamar Jackson is just, he's so good at football. He is, he is such a good football player. He does, he does, he understands the game. He knows how to play it really well, and he knows how to play it at a very high level. And he's just, he's just that guy. Lamar Jackson, 200, or excuse me, 133 yards, 12 for 22 and a touchdown. I mean, the guy's a freak. He carved it up. In terms of rushing, he also had 82, or 82 uh, rushing yards on 11 carries. But Kenyon Drake, man. I, uh, what an embarrassment. What an embarrassment this defense had against Kenyon Drake. I mean, this kid, Kenyon Drake couldn't make a mistake, which is a good bar. Kenyon Drake couldn't mess up. He couldn't have a bad run. He couldn't have a bad day. He was doing nothing but playing well, and it was just absolutely absurd. I was blown away with what I saw from Kenyon Drake, and Kenyon Drake was one of those offseason acquisitions that I was really looking for the Saints to make. I wanted him to try, I wanted the Saints to try and go get him in the offseason, try and get him at the – I mean, it's – Mm, mm. It sucks even more when it's a guy that you wanted and you thought was going to carve it up and do really well, and then he does it against your team. It sucks. It sucks. We're going to get into a rant real quick because, like I said a minute ago, it's about to get ugly. It's about to get really bad. But real quick, what's your level of concern for the Saints? What's your level of concern for this team? Because if you ask me, I'm at, I'm at, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty high. I'm pretty high on my concern level because this team has just been playing like crap. It's been so bad and it's been so frustrating. And quite honestly, they need a leader. The Saints need a leader. Today's Saints Now is sponsored by Established Titles. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland. A, while helping global reforestation efforts, it is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. And you guys might be seeing this drone shot that right up on your screen, and this is the land that the Houdat Nation has. Title packs right now give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. We plant a tree with every order and work with global charities, one tree planted and trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. 
You can officially include the title Lord or Lady on your credit card slash plane tickets, dating profiles, etc. It makes a great last minute gift. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be no, or be effectively next to my plot within a few minutes of walking distance, depending on how many of them, or how many of you want to become a lord or a lady, we can build our own little Huda nation in Saints Now Kingdom in Edelston, Scotland. It makes an amazing last minute gift. Established Titles is running a massive early Black Friday sale right now with discounts up to 80% off. Plus, if you use the code chat, you get an additional 10% off of your order. That means you get an additional, you're getting so much off for this plot of land. And you get to be a lord. You get to throw it on your dating profile, throw it on your passport, throw it on your license. It's great. I'm Lord Trace. I'm trying to get a whole squadron of Who Dat Nation out there. Go check it out. EstablishedTitles.com slash chat. You can get a plot of land next to me. So, I want to get kind of back to my reactions, to my, my thoughts on this game, because it was atrocious. It was just a nightmare. The play calling is bad. The play calling was horrid. The play calling was a joke. I don't know if it's Dennis Allen to blame, because obviously, obviously the offensive play calling isn't on Dennis Allen. It's on Pete Carmichael. Pete Carmichael is the guy who's calling plays for the Saints offense. He's the one who at the end of the day is coming up with the schemes. He's the one at the end of the day who's not making the correct play calls. And it's extremely frustrating seeing that happen because you have Jameis Winston back from injury. You have him back and you you don't play him. You don't put him in at all. When Andy Dalton isn't working, you don't throw him in and say, you know what? Why not try and fix it? It's broken. Why not try to fix it? I, it's just, it's so frustrating. And as a Saints fan, I, I can't help but be like, this is just not Saints football. This isn't Saints quality football. Sean Payton was in the house and he looked livid. He looked so mad. He looked so frustra frustrated. And quite honestly, Sean, if you hated it that much, come back. Come back. Because I'm so tired of Dennis Allen. I'm so tired of injuries. I'm so tired of, excuse me, penalties. It's just frustrating, man. It's so tough as a Saints fan to continue week in and week out putting up with this. You just shut out the Raiders 24-0 last week. Then what? You fold like this? You get a couple of your good, your good key players hurt? I mean, Pete Werner got hurt. He came off the field. Marcus Davenport came off the field, went to the tunnel. There's not a ton of injury updates. There's not a ton of news and a ton of updates on him. So this this show, this, this post game is more of a reaction. It's more of what's going on. How mad am I? How frustrated am I? <laughs> That's a land of Dennis Allen. But if you guys want injury news, if you guys want injury updates, if you guys want Saints videos all season long, even in the offseason, we're going to be covering the New Orleans Saints. We got news, rumors, updates, all sorts of stuff all season long. So be sure to subscribe, join the channel, join the movement, join the Houdat Nation, join the Golden Gang. We're always doing it out here at Chat Sports. We're doing the best that we can. We're putting out content. I mean, guys, I'm literally, I'm pushing the buttons and speaking and talking, doing all of this at once. And it's extremely difficult. It's extremely hard. And if that's not a reason to subscribe, I don't know what is. Subscribe if you believe black and gold. But, like I said, Dennis Allen, have a seat, my friend. Dennis Allen, you are a phenomenal defensive coordinator. You are the guy when it comes to defense. And I'm not even going to say making plays. I'm going to say you're the guy when it comes to creating the schemes, when you have low pressure. God bless America. I wanted Dennis Allen to work out more than anything. I wanted him to be a successful coach. And I wanted him to be the guy. But it's... Mm, it is how could you how could you see anything outside of he's on the hot seat right now i mean when you when you're in this position with the saints to where the, the oh my i uh, i can't even fathom my i can't even cover my thoughts because i'm so frustrated the saints could be competing for a playoff spot the saints could be competing i let me rephrase let me let me say this again a 3 and 6 new orleans saints team could be competing for the for the freaking NFC playoffs. And 
Because Dennis Allen can't get tackling together. He can't get his play calling under control. He can't get the team on, like, penalties, injury. It's everything. It's everything. Dennis Allen has done nothing but prove to be that he is not a head coach. He sucked in his stint with the Raiders. And I get it. Everyone deserves a second chance. I get it. If your team struggles, let him try again. But man, man, it's so tough to not say he's on the hot seat right now. It's so tough to say that I believe in Dennis Allen. When week in, week out, he does nothing but create excuses. He does nothing. Listen to this quote. Listen to this quote. Dennis Allen in the postgame. And I quote, we did not do a good job, a good enough job on third down in either aspect, offensively or defensively. And I think that's what led to their their time of possession advantage. Sure, maybe the time of possession advantage. You didn't get a first down on third down until the second half. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do in that? What are you supposed to do with that? Dennis Allen, stop creating excuses. Like, have some accountability. This team got a massive spark when Alvin Kamara was like, no, this is not New Orleans Saints football. This is not what we do. This is not what we're about. You need to get it together. Keep me in check. Keep me accountable. And I'm going to do the same for every single person on this roster. And that is when the Saints play damn good football. But when Dennis Allen starts trying to take over and start making things happen, I'm not saying that's exactly what he did this week. But, dude... If it's working, keep pushing it. And he's not. And that is why I'm so out on Dennis Allen. He is a phenomenal defensive coordinator. Put him back down to D.C. But, guys, he's not a head coach. I, and it sucks. It pains me to say this. And it hurts so much for the Saints to just not have their stuff together. The roster on paper, it's a 9, 10, 12 win team. Tell me I'm wrong. On paper? At the beginning of the season, we all thought this team was going to win 10 to 12 games. This team will be lucky to win six. You will be lucky to win six to seven games. Ah! I'm so frustrated. Guys, let me know. Is Dennis Allen on this hot seat? Just let me know. I'm over it. I'm frustrated. I'm so mad. I, 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 mm, I, I don't have the thoughts. I don't have... The feelings, it's its frustrating. Dennis Allen from Nick Underhill right now is saying, it did not sound, sound like Dennis Allen, Dennis Allen is considering a change at quarterback. He called it, quote, a bad day at the office. When you have multiple bad days at the office and your starting quarterback is healthy, play your freaking starting quarterback, Dennis Allen. This is why I'm typing my H for hot because his, hot, his seat is so hot right now. I'm so over it. We're going to get injury updates. We're going to get injury news on Marcus Davenport and Pete Warner tomorrow. We're going to have a full update for you guys. There's just not enough news and information for me to spill out to you guys other than that they left the game early. Just subscribe, turn on noties, and just let me know. Is Dennis Allen's seat hot or cold? Type H for a hot, type C for C. Who Nation, stay golden. I'm going to try and do the same.